We're joined today by Barry Roberts and Martin Russell from Marshall Tuflex, and we always love to get behind the scenes of some of Britain's most famous electrical manufacturers, and Marshall Tuflex is certainly one of those. And what's the first thing we like to know, Gary? We're always about the name. So Marshall Tuflex, how do we come up with the name? Well, Harold Circuit, our founder. Okay, so we know straight away it wasn't named after himself, was it? <laughs> no, no. He started the company uh, in 1942 uh, to look after his wife's father and his, her aunt, whose surname was uh, Marshall. Ah. So Charlotte and Carl Marshall, and hence the company CNC Marshall Limited was formed in, back then. Okay. So looking after the in-laws. Absolutely. It's yeah. a novel thing to do then, yeah. isn't it? There's not many other people going to be able to chip in the comments who are doing the same yeah. in their business, are they? But 1942, obviously we're in the middle of the war. Yeah, absolutely. Is, is that linked to how the company started? Yes, I think at the time, obviously metal was being repurposed for use in the war. So obviously they needed a new material for downpipes and drain pipes, and that's what the business started to do. Right. Okay, so yeah. PVC. Yeah. So it converted from the, the metal guttering and metal down pipes, mm -hmm. and they've come, they've seen an opportunity in a very difficult time in 1942, and they've converted that over to plastic. A good idea, Absolutely. I would suggest. The business today, is it still family owned? Uh, there's still a family business, still family shareholders. Um, we meet with them every year, so still a, a very important part of that business. Okay, so we've been going, I'm doing the maths here. 1942, yeah. that make it 80 years. Does that affect how people think about the business? Are the long term thinkers? You know, a lot of business are short term, looking at next year the year after no they're, they're long-term thinkers definitely you know and looking ahead all the time looking ahead at new products and 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 continuing the success that they've had for 80 years well, and, and and looking getting back to products there's been a few different products before we got to cable management <laughs> there? so what, what's some of the interesting things that we've made in the past from UPVC well we kind of got into electrical containment by accident but we started off making things like chicken feed troughs ebon air screen Debonair screen. <laughs> well, it sounds like it, it sounds great, doesn't it? I've got a debonair screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's just over there by my hairbrush. What's a debonair screen? There were those multicolored uh, like ribbons that used to hang in front of kitchens and doorways to stop flies from getting around. Wow, just yeah, took me back to my nan's house. Yeah, as a small child <laughs> yeah. fighting your way into into different areas of the house. Yeah, actually had two, one on the back door, but also one on for the pantry area mm -hmm. as well. Stop yeah. flies getting yeah. in there, that makes yeah. sense. I think now, everyone's grown at it. Yeah. Debonair screen. As well. No, I think we should bring them back. I think, yeah, if we brought back MI in the past, I think we can bring back the debonair screen, definitely, yeah. So. yeah. And anything else that's uh, strange? Horse race fencing posts. So not the actual jumps themselves, but the actual fencing posts that run around. We used to make those as well. Right, so is that the white rail? That was the white rail. Yeah. Those uh, fence posts in the horse racing world, but we talked about off-camera, didn't we? Mr. Trick there, didn't they? Perhaps should have had some branding on it, yeah. okay? And how many people would have seen and stood by mm -hmm. that? Perhaps Channel 4 would have been advertising yeah. Marshall Tuflex for a long time. Could have ring-fenced the market, yeah. You could have ring-fenced the market. Yeah, good joke that yeah. was. 1958, we got caught up in the hula hoop All race. Right. We uh, made the hula hoop. You fancy having a, a little go live on the TV, do you? Not really, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, again, but that's, that's, that's chasing, that's a good company, isn't it? So obviously chasing down what's happening there mm -hmm. and then. Yeah. So then obviously tried loads of things, obviously they, they must have been reasonably successful, but ended up in cable management. When did, when did that happen? Well, that's, that's an interesting story. They started the electrical cable management in 1971, and that was almost by accident. Somebody was coming around, they were showing some customers the site, one of the customers that was in the electrical industry noticed that we were doing some conduit from plumbing pipe, but he thought it was electrical conduit and said, how long have you been doing it? And we said, doing what's electrical conduit? And that's when the whole market, you know, we realized there was a potential market there and the company created the Marshall Tuflex name, which is a combination of Marshall, the original name, Tuflex being tough and flexible. And that was the brand we used for electrical cable management. From 1971. Yeah, it's been a long time. Mm. And then you're also, for me, also as known about that as well as about sustainability and recycling. Because it's been an important part of our business for probably the last 25 years when we first started introducing recycled product into our products. We're aiming for this year to make 80% of our products manufactured from recycled material. So that's effectively taking what is old window frames, which have been removed and chipping those and recleaning that material, then using that material again in the manufacture of our products. So 80% of our product is effectively what's been taken out of somebody's home as an old window and added back into our product. That's becoming a bigger topic for everyone now, isn't it? That whole circular economy thing. Baron, you deal at the specification end. Is that yes, no, it is. I mean, it's, it, I mean, we've been doing it for 25 years. So as I say, it's, it's not new to us. The way the world's going now, 
now with PVC and PVC waste. We're pushing now really to try and get to a stage where consultants will put it in a specification, the minimum of 50% recycled material on that PVC trunking, which obviously is going to push everything forward. But you're not at 50, you're, at, you're almost at 80. So that, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, no, that's right. right yeah, in front yeah, of everybody's yeah, eyes. As I say, if it's, if it's in a specification at 50, but as I say, we're almost at 80. Um, which we're hoping to achieve this year, but which ties in with the 80th birthday. So and, they're, and they're catching you up. So if you've been doing it for 25 years, and we're just switching on to this, you're ahead of the curve. Yeah, yeah, no, we are. So. And is it just PVC products, or is there any other materials that we're using that we've got? To no, I mean, we, we do a lot of other products. I mean, Marshall Tuflex are known for PVC cable management, but um, we do underfloor, so the, the buzz bar the track and the, the floor boxes. We do aluminium trunking, steel trunking. We do a GRP tray, PVC tray, and now we're moving into galvanised tray as well. So there, there's a lot of other products that Marshall Tuflex aren't known for. common thing is a lot of people say, oh, I didn't know you did that. When we're thinking about the amount you... You manufacture everyone likes a big number how many how many meters are you making we have a very big number okay yeah. so for the pvc number. products you know, our lamps we manufacture 12 million meters per year right. so enough if you would lay it end to end go from london to hawaii well, right well i'll yeah. just uh, just jump in there for you i'd like to just check where the end of that run is i, and I think might. team I efix i'll be the one to go you stay there gordon just right, sit i'll order some more push you into the ocean <laughs> So, and then you're always uh, looking for new ideas. We recently featured on the channel the Toughplex tile, and that was an electrician who gave you that idea, wasn't it? Yes, electrician looked at sites of people sort of getting plywood out of skips, using bits of old timber for patrices above full ceilings. He's come up with a Toughplex tile. When you sort of talk to electrical contractors and, and especially apprentices, they they're out there cutting plywood up all day but for patrices above the ceiling. It's not only a, a, a good solution, it's a labour saving initiative as well. And that sounds great. So he's come up with a fantastic idea. He's probably come to you and you've taken that fantastic idea. Is he getting a touch off the fact that he's done this? <laughs> Here we go, wait for this one. Yeah, yeah, he's getting a touch. I assume he's getting a touch off of it. No, he is, he is. <laughs> he is getting a touch. He is getting a touch, yeah. Is that yeah, he, gets, he gets a royalty from every from every product we sell. Yeah, how fantastic is that? Because that links in nicely. Not only have you left the gentleman to come up with the idea hold, actually you do some fantastic charity mm -hmm. work as well, don't you? Yes, we have the uh, Charlotte Marshall Charitable Trust, and uh, in the last five years we've generated a quarter of a million pounds worth of uh, donations for local charities. Okay, so when you say local charities, that local hospice that's really struggling to keep going, you're helping those ones out. Exactly, yeah. That's yeah. good. And, and the great thing is Marshall Tough Flex also help us on the College Connections. Yeah which is not quite charitable status, but obviously we know that the silver bullet for uh, getting good electricians is education, and the more manufacturers get involved in that, the better. Obviously getting kit out the colleges and giving people knowledge of products they may not have seen during that training process. I will leave a link for the um, Tuflex tile. If you haven't seen that, that's a great solution developed by electricians. But Barry Martin, thank you. Thank Cheers. you. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers.